guys and welcome back to my channel or if you are new welcome I'm Mend. So in today's video I wanted to talk a bit about divination and what is it and just to touch upon some different forms or varieties of divination. So the term divination and I would not recommend taking a shot, shot every time I say that because you get drunk pretty quick but the term means the practice of seeking knowledge of the future or the unknown by supernatural means. Now, I know that sounds scary and I can reassure you right now that it is not, it's not scary, it's not evil. Of course, it comes down to your intentions and what you intend to use divination for. Divination is the use of a variety of different tools. Now, some people use one form of it and others kind of dip in and out of a variety of them. But it is used to gain insight into a situation, whether that be yours or someone else's. It can be used to predict the future or gain insight into past or present situations. Now, we all need a little bit of help sometimes and or we just want kind of guidance on a particular area in our life and divination can be such a major help so basically you're just using it as a way of hearing messages from whether it be the universe you want to call it your spirit guides the divine angels whatever resonates with you use that term because you'll be more comfortable using it. I believe that everyone has psychic abilities and you can tap into them at any stage of your life or you can develop them at any stage in your life. Of course some people are just gifted and they can do it straight away and others don't develop it or don't acknowledge it until they're much older and either way is totally fine. But divination can be a great way to tap into your psychic ability and exercise it. Really, it is just a matter of letting your subconscious mind take over, if that kind of makes sense to you. So basically, you're letting your intuition speak through divination. So that's why it's so helpful for exercising your psychic ability. So I definitely recommend looking into the different forms of divination that there is because there is quite a lot of them out there and I will mention a few of them in this video and show you some of the stuff that I have and that I use but I would definitely recommend uh, you look into it yourself. So the first one would be tarot. I think that's the most commonly known one and a lot of people recommend when you start off using the Rider White tarot now I have the radiant one it's a, sorry you can see my ring light it's a small tin but basically this is tarot now I know some of the cards look really scary but honestly just because they look scary does not necessarily mean bad luck is coming to you or anything like that basically they are a great way to gain insight into a situation that you're unsure of and you just need some help with. So I definitely recommend tarot. I use it and I couldn't recommend it more. Another form of divination would be rune stones. Now I have some rune stones here, but I currently don't use them. So basically they are either stones or wooden pieces that have um, like this alphabet. I can't think of the name of it. Letters basically carved into them. So that's what they look like and you have all different shapes and colors and they each have their own meaning but of course like I said I don't use them I do have them but it's just not something that I've kind of not messed around with but looked into too much another one that I do use so I use tarot and another one I use is the pendulum now the pendulum is basically a string or chain with a crystal on the end and you use it to ask basically yes and no questions. Now don't confuse it with the Ouija board because that's a totally different topic but this basically 
taps into your subconscious mind or you use your intuition but I will explain that in another video more in depth. There are so many different forms of divination. You have scraying which is using the a crystal ball. There is palmistry which is reading the lines on your palm. You also have astrology, I Ching cards. I mean the list goes on guys on all the forms of divination that you can use to gain insight into a situation that you may have a question about. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it piqued your curiosity on divination and what is it and just a few of the different forms and the ones that I use. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you want to leave me a comment to let me know what divination tools that you use I would really be interested in hearing from you of course subscribe if you like my channel and want to hear what I have to say or just follow me in my journey of course as always sending you so much love and light your way guys I really appreciate you taking your time of your day to watch my videos and I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you in the next video Bye, guys.